Okay, question 14, we're nearly there. Um, a survey during 2013 uh, investigated the mean expenditure on bread and on alcohol. The 2013 survey obtained information from 12,144 adults. The survey revealed that the mean expenditure per adult per week on bread was 127p. For 2012, it is known that the expenditure per adult per week on bread was 123p with a standard deviation of 70p. Part A wants us to carry out a hypothesis test at 5% level of significance to investigate whether uh, the mean expenditure per adult per week on bread increased from 2012 to 2013. We want to assume that the survey data is a random sample taken from a normal distribution. Okay, first up then, let's set up our hypotheses. So, our null hypothesis is that the mean didn't change. So the mean mu stays as 123. Our alternative hypothesis then is that the mean didn't stay the same it changed. So we're not asked whether it increased or decreased, just changed. So we want that mu is not equal to 123. So because we're dealing with mu not equal to 123, that makes this a two-tailed test. Now, in the formula booklet, you are given um, the distribution of a sample mean. We are told that x bar minus mu over sigma over root n is normally distributed with a mean of zero and a variance of one. Now what we can do is work out the value of x bar minus mu over sigma over root n. So x bar is 127, mu is 123, sigma is 1. It's the standard deviation that we were given, which is 70. And then that's over the square root of 12,100. And 44. Now if we plonk that into our calculators, we will get 6.3 to one decimal place. Okay, so let's make a sketch of what's going on here then. So we've now standardised our distribution. So the mean is equal to zero. Now, what we've just worked out, our Z value up here is 6.3, from our test statistic is 6.3. So that is clearly somewhere on the right of zero. Now, what we need to do is, first of all, remember that we are dealing with a two-tailed test at the 5% level of significance. So we need to find the Z value uh, such that we end up with 2.5% to the right of that Z value. So let's get rid of that 6.3 2.5% 
15 seconds, so we need this area to equal 0 0.025. Which means then that we need this area on the left to be 0 0.975. So we can use the inverse normal um, distribution on our calculators. So go into distribution, inverse normal. Now we want the area to be 0 0.975. Our variance. Sorry, standard deviation sigma is 1 and our mean is 0. If we do that, then we will get 1.96. Now we know then that 6.3 is way over to the right. So, because 6.3 is greater than 1.96 that means then that we reject H0 there is significant evidence that mean expenditure has changed from 2012 to 2013 good times Okay then, A part 2 wants us to calculate the greatest and the least values for the sample mean expenditure per adult per week on bread in 2013 that would have resulted in acceptance of the null hypothesis in the test carried out in A1. Give your answer to two decimal places. So, from finding the critical Z value of 1.96, we know from symmetry that the lower critical value would mean minus 1.96. Now, we would, we would Accept H naught for Z between minus one point nine six and positive one point nine six. Now we know that Z was x bar minus mu over um, sigma over root n. Uh, now what we can do here is rearrange this and get that z times sigma over root n add mu is equal to x bar. So, if we substitute our numbers in, mu is 123. So let's put that first. So we get 123 plus or minus 1.96 times 70 over root 1, 2, 1, 4, 4. So that gives us our least value is 
121.75 and our greatest value would be 124.25 Cool. Okay, then for part B. The 2013 survey revealed that the mean expenditure per adult per week on alcohol was 324p. The mean expenditure per adult per week on alcohol for 2009 was 307p. A test was carried out on the following hypotheses relating to the mean expenditure per adult per week on alcohol in 2013. So our null hypothesis was mu equals 307. Our alternative hypothesis was mu is not equal to 307. So pretty much exactly the same thing that we just did in part A. Uh, this test resulted in the null hypothesis being rejected. Uh, state with the reason whether the test result supports the following sentences. Okay, statement 1. So the mean UK expenditure on alcohol per adult per week uh, increased by 17p from 2009 to 2013. So the first thing I'm going to say here is that nowhere in the survey description did it say that these adults were based in the UK. So we could call them out on that. More specifically though to the test H1 does not specifically tell us that the mean expenditure has increased because it's H1 is such that mu is not equal to um, 307. So, accepting H1 tells us the mean has changed, but not in a specific way or by specific amount. So this is not supported. Okay, and then the second one, uh, the mean UK consumption of alcohol per adult per week uh, changes from 2009 to 2013. So consumption is not the same as expenditure. Um, so the tests shows a change in expenditure however this doesn't show anything about consumption
Now we know in real life, um, prices change. Mostly, they go up. As we can say, it doesn't show us anything about consumption, as For example, prices change. So, this is not supported. Cool.